Docker servers expose a new attack service for malware. Hey, Michael, I heard you have a, a story about uh, Docker images that contain malware being distributed uh, in the Docker Hub. Yeah, yeah. So Palo Alto's Unit 42, which is their research team, um, they reported again that, yeah, like you said, they, they found some malicious Docker images hosted out in, in Docker Hub, which means they're available for, you know, kind of download by really anyone. Um, so they found this account. It's since been taken down. Uh, it was Azure NQL uh, that had a handful of repositories. Uh, I think it had six malicious images. Uh, they basically had this Monero cryptocurrency miner um, embedded in it. Um, had like a custom Python script that's proxy chains, uh, you know, utilized Tor to uh, to anonymize. Um, but what's interesting is is they had a stat that there was they had found there were two million pools of that image, and one of the I guess they had a wallet ID on those hard code, and then one of the scripts uh, let's say earned about thirty six thousand. So you know they. They got something from it. They also noticed uh, that you know there's they're seeing an uptick in malware that's scanning for exposed Docker services uh, servers. So uh, port 2375, uh, they're seeing a kind of uptick on that where these uh, some malware uh, that's more DDoS focused is looking for these exposed unauthenticated Docker servers. They see what containers are running and then ultimately compromise and and publish their own images. Um, you know, what we're seeing just generally Docker being more used, right, across the enterprise, um, certainly uh, out in the cloud. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot more containers and Kubernetes based based applications. Um, so it's, it's sort of this interesting new, I guess, attack surface uh, to take advantage of. It's a lot of certainly if it's cloud based, a lot of processing power um, that's available there. Uh, basically, they, they advise that, you know, if you're using Docker, uh, make sure you don't have those API ports exposed, that specific port, uh, close it down. Uh, and there's a bunch of best practices, right? If you're utilizing Docker, uh, certainly on, on the enterprise, um, you know, trusted sources, there's tools now that do repository scanning, image scanning. Um, so, you know, just, just kind of the, make sure that you're using a known image. Um, Cause if not, you're, 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 you're potentially pulling down all these various layers and you don't know what, you know, kind of what, uh, what software is embedded? Yeah, and if we if we have learned anything during these years is you know actors are, are going to try to exploit everything that 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 is new, right? If people are using containers, they are going to go and 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 figure out how to exploit that, right? So, and and the funny thing is sometimes you know technology evolved so fast that before we even secure things people are are already uh, using them right so it's it's important that if you are using a new technology you you spend the time understanding the technology understanding how you can mitigate some of, of these uh, risks that you may not even be aware of yeah i mean that that's a great point i mean especially things that are new we see users that maybe go follow a tutorial on how to deploy a cluster and it works, okay, I'm gonna deploy it. And it's, like you said, there's no no section on, no fine print on security. So, you know, you have gateways exposed, you have ports exposed, maybe authenticated, unauthenticated, and, you know, uh, that's just just a recipe for exploit, right? Because it's, you know, probably before, you know, your developers understand the technology, the the bad guys understand it, right? And what they go look for, because it's, it's a smaller surface. So yeah, it's a great point is, yeah, understanding you know, the technology you're deploying, especially the speed today, you know, with cloud adoption, how easily you can and quickly you can deploy an application, you need to understand um, kind of the best practices around that technology. Yeah, and I, I remember looking at a, at a recent, fairly recent incident where they were, they were using something similar there, but they will use typo squatting in, in Docker images. Uh, so, you know, they will create a very similar looking uh, name of of an image that you know if if you just try to type that and, and you miss one letter then you will install the wrong uh, in this case it was python packages but i think i have seen something similar with the uh, docker images as well mm -hmm.